Hello, and welcome to Cyperf Test Drive. In today's Getting Started video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the early steps in running the Cloud Excellence Lab, which is a new lab uh, that teaches you how to quantify cloud excellence using the Cyperf test tool. The steps are summarized right here um, on the, the lab page. Uh, this assumes that you've already registered for a test drive, accepted uh, the EULA, and you've launched a test drive. You'll be presented with this lab environment, and the lab environment will actually be built in the public cloud and actively run. It'll take about 12 to 14 minutes, so please be patient while that environment runs. I'm going to show you how to navigate and how to get started with using the lab. Uh, so the first thing you'll do is on the left-hand side, you have these um, navigation um, paths. So you can open up and get the information about the lab. Over here, this is also publicly available on the Keysight SciPerf GitHub repo. There's a SciPerf test drive subdirectory, and then there's a quantifying cloud excellence lab subdirectory. You'll find the PDF of the lab documentation that you can follow along, uh, as well as other auxiliary files will be here uh, when the lab is published. Under public clouds, you can actually see what's going on. So we're currently applying a Terraform script, which is building the lab in the public cloud. Uh, it should be uh, very close to finished at this point. So we'll wait to see that. Um, but you'll notice that this is spinning here, indicating it's still doing some active work um, creating that lab environment. So you just have to wait patiently until that's complete. Uh, we're waiting for an output link uh, that we can use to get the information um, that we need to log in to that environment. And I'm just kind of going through these steps here. So the control panel is on your left. Um, the documentation you can access through Cyperf Labs. Uh, wait the 12 to 14 minutes for the lab to initialize. That's what that spinning is for. Uh, and then we're clicking on the public clouds and looking at the public cloud log. So we're just waiting for that log to complete, indicating that the environment is up and running and ready for us to connect to. Okay, so it's completed. You can see it took about 12 minutes and 39 seconds, so right in that window we were talking about. Um, we've got the output link that's referred to in the steps there. We're going to click on that. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can grab the hyperlink for the Cyperf controller. So for the main application, if you right-click, uh, select between the double quotes there, right-click, go to. That'll take you right to the Cyperf application. I'm going to go ahead and proceed past the certificate warning there. It'll prompt me to log in. Um, that information is standard to Cyperf, but it's also here as well, admin, and then there's the password. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. in. Okay, and now you're presented kind of on the main page to get started in Cyperf, and the lab will, uh, PDF document will guide you through going through the various labs and understanding what the goal of each lab is and how to quantify cloud excellence. Um, I'm just going to, again, do a couple more steps to show you how to get started uh, in, this, in this quick video. So you'll notice that the labs, labs one through five, have already been preloaded into your Cyperf. So you should see that on the main screen. Um, so you can either browse and look at all the configurations that are available in Cyperf, or you can select uh, um, one of these that's preloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and browse this time. We can see the labs that have been uh, loaded into my environment. I'm going to click on lab one, the concurrent connections lab. And uh, what you'll see is that it should be preloaded ready to go and run the test. You can read again the documentation about the lab to understand what the goals and the objective of this particular lab is that you're trying to achieve. Um, but you'll notice that the, the links are up. Um, so these are green. Um, if you need to, you can always select, uh, if you see something that's down as red, you can always select by IP address or by tag. Um, but the goal of this test drive is to have everything 
pretty much automatically loaded for you so that you can spend time reviewing the lag documentation and being able to run the tests. I'm going to kick the test off right now. And it's going to initialize there. Get the ports ready to generate traffic. And then in a moment, we'll see it switch over to the statistics. And the test is off and we're generating traffic and you can learn more about, again, the objective of this particular test um, in the lab documentation itself. But you can see basically that we've got some throughput. So we're generating uh, those connections and the connection rates um, that the test is trying to do. Um, tens of thousands of simulated users, for example. Uh, you can get all the information about how to read these statistics. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Just stopping it early so I can show you one more thing. Okay, so the test is cleaning up. All right, I'm going to go to home here in the navigation. So that takes you back if you, if you need to find your way. If you're new to SciPerf, uh, you can find your way back here. Uh, you can re-enter a session. You can close a session if you don't want it anymore. Uh, and again, you can either browse for the configs or hop right into your second lab when you're ready to do that, um, following along with the lab document. You can load that up, and you'll see it pops up green, ready to go, uh, and execute that lab's uh, objectives. So again, the main navigation of the of the test drive will give you kind of the, the brief set of steps. Uh, you're mostly just grabbing the lab documentation from the GitHub link and then selecting the output from the public clouds log. Um, that will give you at the bottom the log information because these are dynamically generated. So this is this is a dynamic link that will be valid for the duration of your lab, and you can see how long your lab is running. Uh, at that point, how much time you have left to complete that lab. So we try to give you extra minutes uh, to run that. And again, everything is preloaded in the GUI. Once you log in, you can browse for whichever lab you want to focus on, and you can run through those uh, following the documentation. And you have time when this initializes 12 to 14 minutes to go and get the resources and, and begin your lab. So that's basically the SciPerf Cloud Excellence Lab uh, in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.